Welcome to a simple website editing experience by Solid Sky. The Visual Content Finder app makes editing and updating Adobe Business Catalyst websites very simple. Now, when you browse your website, you'll see edit buttons placed throughout your website that will link you directly to the place in the admin that you want to go. Let's take a look at a few examples. If I'm browsing the homepage and want to edit this blog post, I can click right on that button and be taken to the spot in the admin where I can update this blog post. No more hunting through hundreds of blog posts on the back end to find the one that you wanted to update. Now if I click into a particular blog post, I see a variety of different buttons I can edit here. And let's say a different web app, which is an author, I can now I can link to that and click edit author's item and go directly to that because perhaps I saw something on Joe's bio that needed updating. I can make my change, hit update, and see that reflected on the website immediately. The editing capabilities is not just limited to blog posts and web apps. It extends throughout all the functionality in Adobe Business Catalyst. If I wanted to update the logo, I can click on a button and go right to the web app that has the company name, logo, phone number, and additional company information. Perhaps I wanted to update my social media buttons. I can click and go and do that very easily. Even menus, such as pull-out menus on mobile, I can click and go right to editing this menu here as well. Now sometimes these buttons might get in your way of navigating the website. That's why we give you the ability to turn the visual content finder on and off by toggling it here and then remembering your selection as you browse the rest of the website. Of course, we can always turn it back on and get the buttons when we need to edit something. This even works with content that is Ajaxed in, such as we'll see right here. We believe the Visual Content Finder is especially useful for pages that utilize a modular component. So let's take a look at an about page as an example. Here, I can control the image and the header information via a web app. And then the page body is made up of different text in the page body and then different components that are built out as web apps behind the scenes. So if I wanted to go and edit any one of these components, I'd have to search for it in the back end. But here instead, I can click right to that photo grid item, for example, and edit that information. I can go right to edit the page banner item and edit this information right here. So it no longer matters that the page is made up of different components, different modules within the system, because now we've had unified editing experience for anyone who wants to update and manage this page. With the Visual Content Finder app, we were not only focused on how do we make the website editing experience easy for the end user, but also how do we make the installation easy for the developer? Because let's face it, if it takes a lot of time to set up and install, then it might not ever get done. So when you look at the install of the Visual Content Finder, it is broken down into two steps. One is add the include file before the closing body tag on your template. Very simple. The second is you're going to add data tags throughout your website wherever you'd like the edit buttons to show up. So in this example, we see this being outputted for a testimonials web app and we're dynamically linking it to the correct place through the item ID. Let's take a brief look of behind the scenes here to see this actually implemented on this website. So here I can see a flip card web app and in the list view, I just place the data finder type and name and ID attributes where I like the edit button to be placed. The app comes with extensive documentation and it copy and paste examples that you can easily use to apply to your website where needed. But there's more. We made it even easier for you by automatically applying the edit tags to certain modules on Business Catalyst, such as the photo galleries, events, media downloads, FAQs, and forums, while still giving you the ability to manually override the output of these edit tags based on your placing of the data tags on the website. As a bonus, the back end component of the Visual Content Finder app will have the solid content overview 
app here where you can visualize any of the pages that create a URL on the website or any of the modules within the website that create a URL uh, in one easy sortable table here uh, which you can click to edit in the back end or pull up the, the visual content finder for and you can export this to a CSV to do some data manipulation offline. In case you're afraid that the visual content finder is going to show up for public visitors of the website, let me show you what happens when I browse the website in incognito mode. It doesn't show up. So it smartly detects whether or not the user is logged in to the admin and only displays the overlay of the edit buttons and the visual content finder toggle on the bottom left uh, based on their login status. So I hope you'll join us in making the editing experience of Adobe Business Catalyst simpler.